Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find Laplace transform of this f of x. Here we have given f of x is equals to cos of h twice x into cos of 2x, right? And we have to find its Laplace, right? So yes, here we can check that here we have multiplication of this hyperbolic and trigonometric cos, right? Yes, now what we have to do here? Yes, we have to write down this product of two function in terms of addition and subtraction, right? But here we have hyperbolic function. So yes, we know that hyperbolic, yes, what is the value of hyperbolic cos of hx? This is e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2, right? So here we can write this is as Yes, what we have, this is f of x is equals to cos of h twice x. We can write this is as e raised to twice x plus e raised to minus twice x by 2. Yes, and this is cos of twice x. Right. Now, yes, we have, yes, we can check that. What we got here, we got this is exponential into trigonometric function. Right. And yes, we know that when we have multiplication, this exponential function e raised to alpha of x, at that time we have to apply first shifting property, right? So yes, what we have to do, first we have to find, yes, first we will simplify this is again here. So here we have this is 1 by 2 e raised to twice x into cos of twice x plus e raised to minus 2x into cos of this twice x, right? Yes, we have multiplied this is to this one. So here we got this is right. Now, yes, we know that Laplace of cos of 2x. What is the Laplace of cos of 2x? Yes, this is s upon s square plus 4, right? Now here we have to find the Laplace of this function, right? So what we have to do here, yes, this is Laplace of f of x. This is 1 by 2 into Laplace of e raised to twice x into cos of twice x plus this is e raised to minus twice x into cos of twice x, right? Now we have to apply, yes, we have to apply linearity property here. That means we can separate this Laplace here. So here we have, yes. Now, yes, we can check that here we have this function into multiplied by exponential function. And we know the Laplace of this cos of twice x. This is given here. So now we can apply first shifting property. So what is the, yes, Laplace by using first shifting property? Yes, we have to replace this Laplace by replacing S by S minus alpha. Alpha is here too, right? So here we have to replace this is S by S minus 2, right? So here this in denominator we have s minus 2 h square plus 4 and same here cos of twice x laplace this is and we have to replace here s by s minus alpha alpha is here minus 2 so we got here s plus alpha right s plus 2 yes this is so here we have this is s plus 2 upon s plus 2 it's square plus 4. Yes, this is in first here. We have this is alpha is here 2 and we have to replace by s minus alpha. That means s is here s minus 2, right? So here we have replaced s by s minus 2 and in second one we have replaced this is by s by s plus 2. So yes, in this way, we have find Laplace of cos of h twice x into cos of twice x. What we have write down, we have write down this is 
hyperbolic cos in terms of exponential then we have applied for shifting property so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching